Hi, I'm Bob Leshner. I'm a pediatric neurologist, a clinician, and a clinical researcher at the Children's National Medical Center in Washington, D.C. I suspect that the reason that you're watching me right now is because your child, the child of a family member or a friend, has recently been diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy. You may never have heard of spinal muscular atrophy before. However, it's important to realize that SMA is the number one genetic killer of children under the age of two. What is SMA, spinal muscular atrophy? SMA is a disease of the motor neuron, cells which are located in our spinal cord, the deep structures of our brain called the brain stem, and these cells send out processes in the peripheral nerve to eventually make contact with our muscles in our arms, our legs, our chest, our breathing muscles. If there is something wrong, if the anterior horn cells, the motor neurons, become sick or die, then the nerve no longer carries the trophic message, the life-giving message to the muscles, and the muscle cells atrophy and die, thereby the term spinal muscular atrophy. SMA is a genetic disease, and like many genetic diseases, it has a tremendous spectrum of involvement there are almost infinite different variations in the severity, the age of onset, and the ultimate prognosis of SMA children and young adults. But for the sake of convenience, we think in terms of a categorization of type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4 SMA. In type 1 SMA, the most severe form of the disease, symptoms are present before the age of six months and these children never acquire the power, the strength, and the endurance to sit independently, to crawl, or walk. The greatest threat to their life and limb are respiratory complications, which we'll discuss in just a bit. The child with type 2 SMA usually has symptoms which are clinically apparent between the ages of 6 months and 18 months of age. And these children acquire the ability to sit independently, but never acquire the ability to walk. Type 3 and type 4 SMA patients typically have the onset of symptomatology after the age of 18 months, and oftentimes decades later. These children and young adults walk. They are much less susceptible to some of the other complications we'll be talking about with type 1 and type 2 children, and therefore constitute a far more benign clinical spectrum. We hope that you will take advantage of other sites in this website to learn more about the scientific basis of our knowledge of SMA, become conversant with the potential treatment strategies which are currently being utilized at various sites throughout the country, many of which are being sponsored by Fight SMA, and that you will feel free to contact us if there are questions, problems, to which you cannot find an adequate answer. We can't promise that we'll be able to answer every question with divine intelligence but we'll do our best to find the information that will meet the needs of you and your children. Thank you very much for your attention.